Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Mandy here and I am a mom to a 20 month old little boy. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you how you can implement Montessori at home without it being scary, without it being expensive. I'm gonna be showing you different areas of my house that I have adapted to fit Montessori principles and guidelines. And so everything that I do at home is Montessori inspired with him. And I remember when I first jumped into Montessori, it was very overwhelming and I didn't know really where to start. It's taken me some time, but today I wanna to share with you how you can do it at home without it being scary, without it being overwhelming and without it being too pricey. Right at the front of our condo, next to our door, I have two Dollar Tree command hooks. They're not really command hooks, they're the Dollar Tree version though. And then I have two options for outerwear and two options for shoes. A great way to cultivate independence for your toddler is to have their jackets and shoes available for them to pick them out. If they know how to put them on, they can put them on or that's how you can kind of introduce them to learning how to put them on. Moving over to our makeshift pantry. So I took the shelf that's closest to his eye level and I put three options for snacks. Montessori is all about giving your child options. You wanna teach them to be decision makers. You wanna teach them that they have a choice in things. Montessori is all about raising independent children and part of being independent is making your own decisions. So he has three options for a snack. I only put out as much as I feel comfortable with him eating and so if he wanted to eat all of these in a row, that's it for snacks that day. But pretty much he manages to kind of spread them out himself. As you can see over there, my fridge has the bottom freezer. So it's not as easy for him to open it up to grab his own snack. But if access to your fridge is lower, you can put snacks that are refrigerated in the bottom shelf of your drawer. So that way your child can reach those. Luca has not gotten there yet um, just because our fridge is up higher, but that is another option for you. If you don't have a pantry or a makeshift pantry or a shelving system like this, you can always take one of your shelves or cabinets in your kitchen to make that into a snack cabinet. Here are all of his dining utensils, plates, bowls, bibs. I keep it all in a low drawer for him so he can access them. Fair warning, when you first put this out for your child, it's gonna be new to them, so it's gonna be a marvel to them, and they're gonna wanna touch everything, pull everything out. I had to go through it. It only took us about a month to get him to understand that he can't pull all of those out and that that is for mealtime only. Over here in this corner of the kitchen, I keep child-sized cleaning tools. So he has a little mop and a little broom because I'm always doing house chores, and so he likes to join me in that. Now, if you're gonna invest in any piece of furniture for your toddler, I would highly recommend getting a learning tower. I'll link this exact one down below. They can get pretty pricey. This one was pretty affordable in comparison. My son is able to climb up and down this by himself now. As you can see, once he's up, he's table height, he's counter height. This is great for if I'm cooking in the kitchen and I wanna keep him busy. This is great for activities and crafts at the table. And another thing that I do is I leave his cup of water on the table so if he's thirsty, he knows he can just climb right up, grab a drink himself, and get back down. Another great idea is to keep your child's books at eye level. Again, the idea with Montessori is everything at eye level. So those shelves are picture ledges from Ikea. And then this is the infamous Ikea table. Unless you go to a thrift store, this is going to be the most affordable option for you. And then this is his little wardrobe. So I've makeshifted this with two outfit options for him. So when he wants to get dressed, he can pick out his clothes. He doesn't use it yet but when he's ready, he will. And this is his little self-care station in his room. This mirror is from Walmart. It was about $5, and then the ledge is from Five Below, and it was, you guessed it, $5. I also keep a little hook there so I can hang his towels or robes after his showers, but this is a cute little station that he likes to brush his hair at. In our upstairs bathroom, we have a $5 Walmart mirror as well as a Melissa and Doug step stool. This makes it really easy for him to climb up, grab his toothbrush, brush his teeth with me. He can see himself because our mirror is just a little bit too tall. 
and this is a great way to teach your child care of self and it makes them feel really independent toys if you have ever been introduced to montessori before it was probably through a beautifully aesthetic open shelving system so let me explain to you really simply what it is in montessori a child's work is their play and children have a natural sense of order so having your child's toys neatly displayed and only a few options for them makes it really easy for them to make the decision with what they want to play with and so every single week or every other week i will cycle out lucas toys i will wipe down the shelves and i will put new things on display for him this makes it really appealing to him this makes him really excited to play it does not need to be overwhelming you just need to have a few toys carefully selected on display A shelf like this is great if you do not have a playroom. We don't have a playroom in our house, so this kind of is his playroom as well as his bedroom upstairs. And I have a whole video linked about that. This shelf I got from Walmart. It was under $25, so that was a major steal. If you wanted to start implementing an open shelving system for your child's toys today, but you don't want to spend any money, you can literally just take the toys and any low shelf that you have for example i have open shelves right here in my entertainment center use whatever you've got even if that means that they're on the floor in a safe corner with a little mat for a little bit you do what you can with what you've got i started off in here until i got that cheap walmart shelf so you just kind of make do and if you're looking for little baskets like this to house some of the toys and to display them I get all my baskets from the thrift store and they're cents to just a couple bucks. So that's where I would recommend getting some super affordable baskets. The same way that I rotate out Luca's toys downstairs, I also rotate them out upstairs as well as his books. I'll do all of this on the same day about every week to every other week or when I see that he's getting bored with his toys and with his current rotation. And it takes me anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. I prefer to do it when I have help, but it's just as easy to do it while he's awake and he finds it super fun to see what I've picked out for him. All right, so that is how I have modified my home to kind of serve Montessori method and to be able to do Montessori at home with my son. I hope that you found this video entertaining or helpful. Hopefully you found it helpful. And if you liked this video, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. It helps my channel a lot. I wanna thank you for being here and for watching this video. If you're watching this right now, I really appreciate you. If you wanna see more content like this, Montessori at home, homemaking, anything motherhood related, then give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel where I will be posting new content for you every single week. I hope you have a great day. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to get back to you guys and I will catch you on the next one.